Hello, I'm the Bad. Today I present you a video about the PS Vita 1000 and the PS Vita 2000 running the TNV e custom firmware at the most recent firmware 3.15 or 3.15. At first, as you can see, this is the XMB running on my old PS Vita, the fat one. If I go into the system settings, changing language to English. You can see it's running the version 3.15, TNV 9.6, so the most recent firmware in terms of TNV and official. Then you've got all the stuff you need for your XMB, PlayStation Store, your games and so on. If we now take a look, this is a Japanese PSP game, some more Japanese PSP games, some PS1 games, and homebrews. First I will start simple homebrew like PSP Filer, one of the best homebrews for the PSP in my opinion. And as you can see, you can run the PSP Filer homebrew without problems. See plugins, video, custom XMB and so on. can also exit the homebrew if you don't want to use it anymore. Next I'm going to show you that you can start um, ISOs and CSOs on this device. For that I'm going to start Project Diva. I've only played it a bit. And as you can see it's even translated into English for a few things like the main menu and the song titles, at least some of those. You can also exit if you don't want to play it anymore. Another thing that's working are PS1 games with sound, but that is depending on the game. Like some games have sound, some games will simply crash if you try to play them with sound. For example, I'm now playing Tekken 3 at my PS Vita with sound. Tekken 3 does not exist in the PlayStation Store since it has some elements that are simply for two players or more. Well, for two players, since Tekken 3 was for the PS1, only two players. And since those features would not work on the PSP or PS Vita, it's simply not on the PlayStation Store. So this game can usually not be played with sound at the PS Vita. That's what I'm talking about, this versus mode. As you can see, 2P means player 2, but you cannot play with two people on one PS Vita. If you press start and select, you can exit the mode. Okay. Simple. You can also change settings like the screen size how dark or how bright the screen is, how loud, <clears throat> how loud the volume should be and the disc loading speed and so on. You can also quit the game. Now for the PS Vita 2000. You can do the very same at the other PS Vita. This one is a special PS Vita, but it's the simply the 2000 version. I hope you can see it at the Slim Vita. It's a bit dark, but whatever. This one's also running TNV. Language 
to English, system version 3.15, TNV 9.6. I have basically the same stuff on this PS Vita than with my first PS Vita. Can also run emulators like a GBA emulator or Game Boy Color emulator on the PSP. Turbo mode, so it's speed up. Exit. Same applies to Super Nintendo or Game Boy Advance games, like you can play Pokemon Emerald or The Legend of Zelda. A Link to the Past on this PS Vita. This bug only appears if you're saving, so it's not a big problem. But this has something to do with the emulator, not with the TNV itself. Like I said, this runs at every PS Vita. It runs at the old PS Vita, the fat one. It runs at the new PS Vita, the slim one, and it also runs on the PS Vita TV or PlayStation TV, what it's called in the Western world. So you can connect it to your TV and play your PS Vita and PSP games on the big screen. The only thing necessary is basically the exploit game. So you need a specific game from the PlayStation Store and you have to buy it from the PlayStation Store. There's no other way. And if you have said game and the files that are also necessary, the files are free, so you only have to pay for Sony for access to the game, then you can basically do this at your own PS Vita, regardless if you have the old PS Vita, the new PS Vita, or the PlayStation TV. It also depends on your, on your firmware. If we release this, the next update of Sony will most likely fix this. So you have, then you have to decide if you want to keep the newest version or if you want to keep this. You can also access this without problems. As you can see, this is running on the newest version, 3.15. Okay, it's asking to enable Wi-Fi. And now it says the most recent firmware is already installed. So as you can see, I'm running firmware 3.15. And yet I'm running TNV as well. So this is my video about TNV at the Farmer 3.15. I'm the Dad and see you soon.